Uh, players, let's talk about Kenneth Cheese Bro. I know it's Chess Bro, but I'm going to call him Cheese Bro. I said what I said. Argue with your mama, not me. Now, listen, his attorney that came out and made a statement saying that Cheese Bro never believed Frumpy Dump in the big lie. But now he's a convict because of the shit that he did for Frumpy to the motherfucking dump. Y'all grab y'all tea and have a seat, honey. Let's get into it. So on the latest episode of The Apprehended that is filmed at Tyler Perry Studios and directed by District Attorney Willis, Kenneth Cheeseboro has flipped on Frumpy Dump and the rest of the co-defendants taking a plea deal, but he is still a felon. Now this flip is very significant because it marks the first plea deal that resulted in a felony conviction. As we all know, Sidney Powell took a misdemeanor plea as well as the bail bondsman. So on Friday, Kenneth Cheeseboro, who was a member of Frumpy Dunk's Cracker Jack Box legal team, accepted a plea deal just minutes before the judge was going to start jury selection. He pled guilty to conspiracy to file false documents relating to his attempts to set up the fake electoral college votes in Georgia. According to reports, he was the actual author of this whole entire scheme. Now, uh, his trial was scheduled to start on Monday. Prosecutors claim that uh, Ken Cheeseboro wrote legal memos on behalf of Frumpy Dump's campaign, creating false legal backing for the fake elector scheme. As a part of the deal, Kenny Cheeseboro agreed to testify in future cases if called upon. This would include the trial for Frumpy to the motherfucking dump. So now Cheeseboro's attorney is speaking out, honey, regarding the election fraud. He said that first of all, Mr. Cheeseboro never believed in the big lie. If you ask Mr. Cheeseboro today who won the 2020 presidential election, he would say Joe Biden. He also went on to say that Cheeseboro's guilty plea does not implicate any other defendants. And he also said that Frumpy Dump in particular should not be worried. You know, got to protect him from MAGA, honey. He said he did not implicate anyone else. He implicated himself in that particular charge. He is required to testify truthfully if he is called by the state. And Mr. Cheeseboro is a man of his word. But at the same time, he will say if he's called by a defendant, he will testify and testify truthfully. He also said that he doesn't believe his client would have much to add to the prosecution in any other further case, predicting that he won't be asked to testify at all. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. Now, I'm going to go ahead and keep it a stack with you. If Cheeseboro didn't have anything to add to other people's cases, I don't believe that District Attorney Willis would have negotiated a plea deal for him, at least one that doesn't include jail time. I think it's re damn ridiculous to say this, but we'll see what comes out in the Washington Arrange. And as of right now, uh, District Attorney Willis is leading by far, and she also has three witnesses that can cooperate to testify against Frumpy to the motherfucking dump and anybody else that choose to go to trial. Now, it's going to be very interesting going forward to see who will be the next one and the next one and the next one to flip. Um, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to put my money on Jenna Ellis, but or Misty Hampton. But I really want to know what y'all think. Put your thoughts in the comments. This is Double D Mobile reporting for the Black Accurate News.